haven't got a brass rasser to show for it. So what happened to your lucky key ring? Oh, it's just warming up. Don't you worry about that. No, you're not okay. Obviously, not well. Maybe we should go home. No, I'm fine. I'm, in fact, I'm better than fine. It's just that I don't want another drink, but I'm happy to have another punt. Uh, imagine Wilkins has given me a sure thing in the race after next, and the odds are still good. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. What's the tip? Uh, a sure thing. Yeah, I know, but what's it called? A sure thing. Oh, for crying out loud, Colleen, what is the name of the horse? Oh, yeah. Honestly, Alf, if you can't speak the Queen's English, I don't know why I bother. Now, who's in? I am definitely in, Colleen. I'm going to have a fiver on the snods. Yeah, I might put five on two, but on a place and a win? or Win and place. Yes. If it was that good a tip, I might have a tenner on it. And if you're looking for something in the next race, you could do a lot worse than back. She's laughing. Ooh. Well, I better get over to the bookies and put Madge's bed. Why can't she put it on herself? Oh, no, she had a terrible problem with gambling. She doesn't trust herself. Oh. Well, you better be careful there too, Colleen. Oh, you mean my little problems with the pokies? <laughs> oh, it's all fine, Dr Saunders. I only allow myself a $2 bet now. Ah, if you've got a problem like that, it's always there. And I tell you what, if Marge Wilkins can't even place a bet for herself, she ought to ban herself from every race course. <laughs> you putting a bet on? Oh, nothing really does it for me in that one. Oh, what about the next one? The sure thing? <laughs> Is there such a thing? <laughs> True. Three races, three dots. Three wins. I told you, stick by me. If you had, you'd be up 100 bucks by now. How am I supposed to trust your tips when they're based on that one looks too dopey and that one looks too It's not wild. like that at all. You just have to know horses and how they move. If they're too buzzed, sweaty, nervy, they're not going to make the distance. If they're too laid back, they're not in the moment. Quite simple, really. Uh-huh. Clear as mud. You're just not a horse, man. G'day, Alf. <laughs> 25 on the nose is a sure thing. He's not going to make the distance. Hang on, mate. You know something I don't? Just that he's all sweat and wild eyes. Well, he's a stayer, his preparation. No, the good. real stayer is Marty Maxine. I just checked her out in the yards. She's primed. She hasn't played four, mate, but she has picked all the winners so far. All right. Can't hurt. 25 on the nose, Marty Maxine. Don't worry, you won't be disappointed. Come on, mate. Stop being so tight. $5 oh. is not going to break the bank. <laughs> Lynn, look, this is the best way to double five bucks. Over and oh, in. Oh, Dan. Oh, well, <laughs> he never bets. I thought he changed today, but no such luck. Oh, guys, look, we got beer and food and friends. What more do we want, yeah? You can get a wriggle on for a start. See, I might just stay in mind the fort. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you, hey? No, it's okay. Sure. Thing thousand on the nose. On the nose, number six, race six. There you are. What are you, are you putting a bet on? Yeah, you know. <laughs> sure thing's a sure thing, right? <laughs> Why not? Oh, what happened to you? I thought you were at the barrier. Oh, yeah, I, I had something to do. So, no. show me. It's nothing. Oh, no, come on, you two. It's starting. <laughs> well. Time for a sure thing to live up to his name. Now, has Colleen ever let you down before? Oh, excuse me. Oh, watch my hat. Oh, Saints alive. I'm coming through. So tell me, Colleen, did you break your $2 bet rule on a sure thing? Oh, to tell you the truth, I didn't go with him in the end. Hey, what are you, what are you talking about, Colleen? I thought that was like a real tip. Hey, come on, mate. It's only a bit of fun. <laughs> well, actually, fate intervened. There's a horse running called Lancey's Pride. I couldn't let that go up, will I? <laughs> Waiting for the bell. Racing. And Bingo Boy jumps clear. But it's a sure thing that grabs the lead from Lancey's Pride and King Raja. King Raja drops back to last as Bingo Boy makes a strong run. But it's Lancey's Pride out front by one length to a sure thing. Oh, come on, Lancey, you can do it! It's neck and neck. Lancey's Pride and a sure thing. King Raja, running out of steam, drops back behind Mighty Maxine. Mighty Maxine, always a good finisher. Now in third place behind Lancey's Pride and a short thing. And 
And they're into the straight now. It's neck and neck with 80 to go. And it's between Lancey's pride and a sure thing. Two legs back, mighty machine. And he tries to deny that bingo boy. And they cross the finishing line together. Lancey's pride and a sure thing. And the winner is... Too close to call. No, the results are in and they're clear. The winner by half a nose is... A sure thing. <laughs> sure thing. I've had about enough of that nag for today. Yeah, it was a bit of a bolt, it wasn't it? <laughs> See ya. No, it's not. I've had about enough of you, cheeky. <laughs> Scared me. Morning, Maxine, eh? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, it was weird. My friend gave me a tip at the last minute, but Morning, Maxine came third, right? It was close. Close. Close isn't good enough. If I want it for a win, is it? I'm sorry, like I said. What are you doing? This is fair. You stiff me, I take your money. Maybe you'll think twice next time. <laughs> 